Look at you. Mm. Gorgeous boy. So what have you been doing? Um, I had my breakfast. Yes. I went to sleep. You went to sleep? I went to sleep after tea. <laughs> that was last night, wasn't it? And so I'm this morning. Just, I'm just doing colouring. Oh, lovely. Let me have a look. Oh, beautiful colouring. What about you, Fred? I'm on, I'm on one. I'm on one. Freddie? I'm doing a maze. You're going to do a maze, are you? Yeah. Lovely. I'm on, one, I'm on a gel pen. Oh, beautiful. It's rubbed out, though. Oh. Oh, no, it hasn't. Do you know who you like gel pens, Freddie? I'm to hear that. Oh, she might have done. Auntie Laura. She used to collect them. And they, she used to collect um, the I'm smelly on ones. Yeah, your mummy. Tour. Your mummy. Yeah. So she um, would have ones that smelt like chocolate cake. <laughs> she would have ones that smelt like apple. And ones that smelt like strawberry. Like Freddie. Yeah. Right, my well, lovelies. I think we've got to get going, um, get washed and dressed, and get ready for the school run. Okay? Sorry. So we're going. Yes. Right, go on then, say it now. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. What you don't go for backwards on your scooter? Who are we just looking for? Um, the daddy duck. It's a daddy swan, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we can hear something going on. There might be some fighting. He's protecting, isn't he? Who's yeah. He's protecting. Um, the daddy duck with his wings out. That's right. And who's who's he looking after? And the mummy the mummy swan the mummy swan good morning good morning it's a bit different here today not as sunny and i'm full of hay fever <laughs> so just make our way uh, back to the car so we'll see you a bit later good morning Hello my darling. <laughs> Hello, it is uh, 10 o'clock, just 10 o'clock. Yeah. We're just outside the material shop. Just excuse me if I sat out really bugged up. I am, <laughs> my hay fever is oh, awful today. I think that's because I was in the park yesterday. Um, oh crumbs. Right, so Benjamin, what are we going to, what have we come for today? Um, some material like this. Oh, let's have a look. Shall we show everybody? So we've got. I don't know whether you can see that. That's the um, backing material that I use for body's quilt. I've got scraps of. Oh, my help, I'll turn it around the right way. <laughs> there we are. So I'm just going to see if they have any. I'm not intending to buy that today. Where's the other material, darling? Can you see it? Oh, let me just... There's that one, isn't there? This is, um, yeah, this is one of the blades. I cut the blades out of that, but it's only two and a half inches and I think yes it's not worked I need um we're gonna have to buy a fat quarter what's that one that's the red one isn't it okay so that's the red one we've got that one as well so we're looking for that one yeah yeah and this one um we're gonna try that one aren't we yeah right I think the lady's just come out so I'm just going to see if I can uh, go in the shop and hopefully see you soon hello <laughs> Good afternoon. Oh, it's a bit warm here <laughs> this afternoon in the northwest. Um, I don't know whether I said what day or date it was. It is Friday. I've got to work it out now. 27, 23, 24, 26, Friday the 26th of May. Yes. Cheers. So water, not vinegar. <laughs> not vinegar. Not vodka. <laughs> So I think I'm seriously losing the plot. <laughs> I'm tired now. Oh, we had um, three little ones yesterday, early yesterday morning, and left my husband with Reuben. I took Bonnie and Benjamin <laughs> um, to meet my daughter in the park. So hopefully you'll see some footage of that which was absolutely beautiful but I'm paying for it today so I do apologise that um, I'm all bugged up 
Um, yeah, we had a really good time with them out at Soft Play yesterday. That was the first time we've taken all, well, all three of them to get, that we've taken all three of them out and that we've taken any of them to Soft Play. Because I think when we were first having Benjamin, which is nearly two years, we were still in like COVID, so we still couldn't go to places like that. I think they were closed anyway. So yeah, that was uh, good. We learned a lesson. We need to sort of car seats out the night before rather than try and do it when they're here. So yes, I, but I didn't come on and say goodnight because I picked, yeah, dropped Bonnie off. So I gave one back, picked another one up. Um, Alfie wasn't coming back because he was going to a disco. So we came back and invited my um, my stepson and his lovely partner um, for dinner. I said, oh, we'll do uh, green mac and cheese, you know, do something healthy, which um, my... Uh, daughter-in-law has had and raves about it and Daniel's never had it so he's really looking forward to it but we ran out of time so we just decided oh what the heck we'll uh, get fish and chips and it was really lovely so that was uh yes doing that feeding them um then we had a bath or I didn't they bath the little one before they took him home and how lovely was that my son was like are you sure I was like well yeah the bath's there I haven't cleaned your room I was wondering whether yeah you might want to come back for a couple of nights as you'd moved in so um, they were able to bath him he was absolutely knackered so um hopefully he slept in um this morning and they would have uh, got a bit of a break so yeah they enjoyed all day yesterday on their own um built some wardrobes I think so but they were pretty pleased that uh, they'd got that done. So this morning, I think I spoke to you. I dropped, yeah, went and picked Alfie up, took him to school with Fred. I had Benjamin. Normally I'd drop him at his grandparent on, on a Friday if he stays over. Um, but his granddad's had an operation. So we were asked if we could have him um, for a bit extra. So I said, of course. So... We yeah went to Tesco's, got a prescription, got him something to eat. He had a healthy choice, his apples, which he ate. And then what else did we do? We oh we went outside the fabric shop, which I would have shared with you. So, yes. So I was looking. Oh, this is the only thing when, you, when you're vlogging on like a daily basis or part daily basis, you kind of forget what you've been talking about. And um, especially when I'm disjointed, I'm OK sort of weekend wise to do like like a big thing like my, um, sewing and that I can just concentrate on that but when I sort of have the children everything goes amiss so bear with me bear with me and let me recap for my my sanity <laughs> which doesn't hold out so this was a strip pack that I had in my stash and I was trying to be good girl oh right, okay um, I was trying to be a good girl and use this and I was trying to do crumbs. I was trying to do the grandmother's fan. Which is this? Um, and I was trying to cut the blades out. And you know sometimes when you know what you should do, but you do something totally different. I didn't make myself a template. I was just, I drew it out and it wasn't right. Oh, let me just. So I had, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. And my quarter of an inch is okay on when I've joined them. But for some reason, I was that much out and I know exactly why because it just went the points went across that 2.5 so I thought oh I'll just make another blade put that on and line it up and it won't make any difference nobody will know and it's out slightly it won't kind of lay flat and I was just trying to <laughs> sew this bit on and I couldn't get this bit on either So, I think what I'm going to do, so yeah, I'll show you. It doesn't always go to plan, I'm sure, as many crafters. You have something in your head, try and execute it. And I have lost something. What's the word I'm looking for? Not interpretation, execution, execution. 
Yeah, it's been a while since I've done a seamed piece. Curved piece, even. I've got a quilt downstairs I could show you. I do really like those colours now. Let them go together. I was talking to the lady at the quilt shop and she confirmed with me. You just need to be a bit out on it, throw the whole lot out. So I thought, right, OK. <laughs> I'm going to make some templates. Yeah, make a template this afternoon and um, for that piece of the corner, the burgundy, 90 degrees. And then for the blade, I'll make a template for the blades. And all I use... Like, I'll trace it out. This is um, baking paper. So I've traced it out. <laughs> Put it on my um, Peppa Pig lolly pop um, cardboard. And I'll just make that. And then I just mark it. I mark what the... Is it, no. I'll mark what the number is. And what I'm, block I'm supposed to be doing. And the book that it's come from. And I might even put the date on there. So at least I've got all those. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So what did I get in the shop, I hear you say. And I, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. So I wanted this. It's one of the blades. This was one of the blades. And the pink and she didn't have it I bought this I think about a year ago but it could have probably been I don't know, two years ago whenever um, the shops opened so that's it and I wanted this one as well so they're my three that I wanted my blades so kind of like that so she had the red. Yay! So I can cut a bigger piece out of that. So she had that. But she didn't have this colour. But she had it in a slightly darker colour. So that's like a pale pink. And that's a deeper pink. So I'm going to use that instead. Um, and I can use that somewhere else in the quilt so it will look as if oh I deliberately chose two different pinks to use and then this was a problem so I chose this I chose the green first of all thinking yeah I really would like a bit of green in which I really like that that's lovely um, but then I was like hesitating because the other green that I've got is a sagey green with the baby on and I wasn't sure if this is too different when you look at that so I thought right maybe I should go towards the pink so then I went for this and that has kind of got the colours in if you can see so you've got the different uh, tones of pink and you've got that sagey green green in there I was like right okay um, so I've got I went for three fat quarters, so I ended up buying four fat quarters because um, I was going to use that green. I thought if I don't, I can still put that in my stash. And that's what it's about, making informed choices. And then she came out and she said, I've got it. Is it the same? I was like, oh my word. Yes, it is. Um, and it is that. So sure, I've got half a metre. I said, oh, I said, I'll take it. <laughs> so I went in for a three quarters of a metre and I bought um, a metre, a metre and a quarter. <laughs> but I thought, listen, I won't uh, run out of um, fabric. So there we are. Right. Okay, so I can finish that. So I've just got to cut it and leave it and not pick with it and then as I was like just going to the till I spotted this look at that is that lovely sorry for the crinkling yeah Bonnie and I are really into fairies for some reason um, 
and it's got a unicorn on it as well. Look at that. And it's a, um, he sells these strips. If you go online, it's Crafts and Quilts Nets. This is UK. And it's a queen size border. So that's two 108 inch long by five inches. So I thought I could get quite a lot of, I could chop that up as five inch, five inch blocks if that works. Where's my ruler? Yeah, maybe I might have to do some fussy cutting. Where are we? Yeah, e easily. I can easily fussy cut that, couldn't I? It's down there. And where's the five? Here. Yes, yeah, so I've got a bit of room to, to play with. So that's going to be a stash. <laughs> but to be fair, I haven't had a little girl before. <laughs> Not since I had my girls. Um, so, yes. Oh, my mouth is so dry. Oh. So I'll show you what I've just been um, working on. I'll turn the camera around. Right, this is what I want to do. This is the maple leaf. Um, this is an American. And I saw one of the ladies from the quilt group who has joined. She's a very experienced quilter. Um, she had made one. She's got a Canadian daughter-in-law. And she had made a quilt with all these blocks. And all the leaf was done in like a, a brushed velvet. Oh, my word, it was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I've been sitting making templates. So I've got my long one. I'll just try and put the information on there and I'll just put these in a packet. Whether I'll actually ever be able to find them again, I don't know. So they're like, like this. And that one and then these are like the two halves for you know, for this bit here. So that's that. And this is what I've cut out so far. So I'm really pleased with that. And I'm just wondering whether... Yeah, I've got to do a sashing whether that will go with it or do I put the green in or do I, do I put the or do I put the green in oh that would be quite nice wouldn't it actually I think that'll pick quite a lot out or do I go for the red this is in the original um, block Oh, I don't know now. Was that funny? Oh, that's really funny. Right, okay, what do I choose? Mm. Let me know, red or green. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, red. I don't know what I touched on my phone then. Um, yes, it's evening time here. Um, I don't really know what the time is. It's been that kind of day today. <laughs> no, but I've made it. I've made it to the evening. I've, um, yes, come to say goodnight. Um, I had an interesting <laughs> time in the same room today. Um, I'll share those delights with you tomorrow. I thought I would come on and just show you the progress on my uh, Ukrainian and GB socks. I'm currently working on these beautiful socks by this designer and I have a skein of yarn from um, Danny it's the um, Ukrainian GB sock along that we're doing that we're doing that we're we're hosting I've been very bad I've sort of fallen by the wayside in the sense of um, being active on um, Instagram <laughs> Oh, and I was so tired. My husband just nudged me to fall asleep on the couch. I never fall asleep on the couch. I have completed my first sock. Look at that. Oh, my word. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, I hope the light's going to do it justice. The pattern is just so beautiful. It really is. The yarn's beautiful. The stitch definition. Look at that. Oh, my word. I've just pulled my second sock out the bag and um, I pulled off one of the blooming needles <laughs> that is the story <laughs> of this afternoon but I'm going to be very very gentle with it and I'm not that far 
off. I think I'm halfway up the foot. So this is my second. This is my second sock. So same as the first. So I need to kind of have a strong cup of tea. <laughs> strong or something. So this is yes. Can you see this? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I've still got all that yarn left. It's a really bad angle. Also need to find a selfie stick. So yes, I just wanted to show you because maybe I might finish these um, before I see you in the morning. Bear with me a minute. Bear with me. Oh, oh it's flipping hay fever. It's flipping hay fever. So with that one off, Lisa, I'm, um, I'm going to leave you. <laughs> I'm going to go downstairs. Let's see if I can just... Um, Put the stitches on the needles. So I hope you have a really nice uh, Saturday, oh, not Saturday, Friday evening. Yeah, we've had our takeaway because we were so tired after having all those lovely granny babies last night. So um, yeah, good night's sleep. Hopefully nobody's snoring. Um, so yes, I will see you tomorrow. And I'm planning. What am I planning? I'm planning a, a quiet day. I'm planning. That's all I'm going to say. A quiet day. I'm pleasing myself. So let's see how I go. Right, I'll see you in the morning. Night.